Today I'm going to be doing another training video that's a part of the Teaching Tint Whiz series. If you're not familiar with Tint Whiz, it's basically a CRM system. It has a ton of features and functionalities and it's specifically tailored to the window film industry. So you can do things like scheduling, inventory management, um, proposals and estimates, and also storing client information and sending them out email and text message notifications. So today I'm going to talk about how easy it is to set up an account with them. It's a 30-day free trial, and not only are we going to set up an account, but I'm also going to show you just how to set up your business settings. So you're just going to type in tintwiz.com into the web browser. You'll end up on a page like this. And then you're going to hit sign up. And I'm going to go ahead and type in a Gmail email here. But you would want to use your business email. I already have an account with I'm tintwiz, so I'm just going to use the Gmail email for the purposes of the video. And then you hit register. Put in your personal name and the company name. And then one thing that's really important here is the time zone. It looks like it's defaulting to Los Angeles. So um, you want to just make sure that that time zone is correct. And reason being is that um, when you're scheduling appointments, you don't want those appointments to be set to the wrong time zone because you may miss a meeting or appointment. So mine is going to be Los Angeles. I'm going to complete setup there. And they do have a live chat support if you ever need like a quick answer specific to a question that you're having. You can take advantage of that. Once you sign up, that was it. You're already in the 30-day free trial. You get full access to all the features and functionalities right away with no credit card required or anything like that. So this is what the dashboard looks like. We're gonna to wanna to set up our company settings. So you're gonna hit your first name. If you go into these settings here, there's a couple of different tabs. The account is kind of the details we already just typed in. The security is gonna be your password. Businesses, if you only have one location, you don't need to go ahead and add any, but if you had multiple locations, you could add them here. And then subscription, this would be, of course, if you wanted to commit to the fully paid program and use the system beyond the 30 days. So down here are the most important settings. Um, here you can manage staff. So um, if you have installers or administrative people, you're going to want to add them here. And um, I'm going to go ahead and add an installer. And the purpose of adding other people is because you, ads, admins, you're going to want to have access to the system. You're going to want to have them be able to schedule, change appointments, things like that. Installers, you're going to want in the system so that they can see what projects they're assigned to. And you can also assign them to specific projects and installations. So I'm going to go ahead and input his name and email. He'll get an invite um, to the system as well. He's going to be an installer setting and you can add everyone in your company just like that. If you hit this here, it takes you right back to the settings page. And then the notifications on TintWiz is a really great feature. You can set up notifications for quite a few activities that are going on in the program, which is really important if you're um, managing remotely or just to get your team all on the same page. Like, for example, someone goes out to an estimate, you get notified when a proposal is sent out. Or um, someone approves a quote, you get notified that they approve that quote. And you can get notified via text message and email. And you can also do different notification settings for different staff members. So like right now, I have all of the notifications checked except for appointment check in and out, but I could put that on there and that would let me know, okay, so-and-so checked in for their appointment. Okay, uh, the team is now finished with that project. So this is a really great feature of TintWiz for sure. All right, so edit details. So this is more like 
branding and company information. You're going to want to upload a business logo. This will go on communication with customers. So we have the business logo here and um, you also want to add the business phone number if it hasn't auto populated already as well as the address. Again, make sure that time zone, the unit system, and the currency is all correct. That all looks good. You hit the gear, you can go back. So the integration section, if you're a really new user, you may not need this, but I'm just gonna show you it if you are a little bit more computer savvy and you wanna hook up all of your dis different systems so they talk to each other. So um, if you already have QuickBooks and you wanna continue using that with TintWiz, um, you can actually link those two systems together. Zapier has been a new integration that's just been added. And with Zapier, it actually helps you link TintWiz with a lot of apps that you may already be using, like Gmail and MailChimp. So you can link those together um, and it'll walk you through the steps on how to do that if you hit manage and follow um, the connection steps there. Configuration. Okay, so this is gonna be really branding your proposals and um, you know how large you want your logo to appear which we uploaded um, in one of the last sections um, are there any pro proposal notes so that's saying like you know this proposal is valid for 30 days just any disclaimers that are specific to your company and this would also be um, you could add even more in the fine print like you know after 15 days your invoice will be past due and you will owe XYZ fee. And here are um, proposal footer links. So these might wanna be like, um, you know, any specific instructions or link outs with more information that you wanna add to all of your proposals. And you can also add custom fields. So like they're suggesting here, do you have a license number? Do you have a tax ID number that you want to indicate on every proposal that goes out? Um, biz, proposal business notice. Um, so this will be above the phone number and address and it says, you know, you can use this if you want to display your license number front and center or any specific coding. And um, these are options on what you want the customer to see as well on the proposal. So most of the time you're going to want, you know, the customer's um, name in the proposal, so having that checked is just gonna make sure that that auto populates for you. And um, we don't wanna hide our business address on our proposals, so I'm gonna uncheck that. And if you wanted to hide measurements on proposals, I don't know why you wanna do that, but um, we don't wanna do that, so we're gonna leave that unchecked. Um, invoices, so this is actual we just went through what customers are gonna see on estimates or proposals. Now the invoices section also has the same um, customizations. So you can do you know, tax or no tax. You can manage your tax rates. So if um, there's specific taxes to your district or to a larger county, you can go ahead and add those there. Um, and then it kind of has the same notes, extra field, business notice sections as the proposal did. You can also go ahead and choose your color. And then um, a specific font, which is really nice, just you know, adding to the overall branding and look and feel of your invoices and proposals. Um, and then calendar slash scheduling. So this is where you would set if you want customers to get appointment notifications, which is so important if you're having issues with no-shows and things like that. Um, with this checked, customers will get text message and email notifications letting them know um, that their appointment is confirmed and scheduled. Um, and then there's just other features as far as like your personal preferences. So like, do you want your calendar week to start on Sunday. Um, are you gonna be using the map, which I talk about in other training videos, and um, your default event duration. So, you know, when you put in a new appointment, do you want it to default to a two hour block, or maybe none of your appointments ever take two hours? 
So you're going to want to default it to like a four hour block. Um, then if we go down, the last category is going to be measurements. So um, the system can automatically round your measurements up. Um, and then it can also show parameters like linear feet. So that, you know, all these features are great to have the option and just to make your workflow more efficient as you move through scheduling, invoicing, and proposals. So let's scroll to the top. And that is everything for the settings. And in other videos, I'll talk about, you know, how to input an estimate and um, how to invoice. I talked in a previous video on how to schedule appointments. So make sure to check out all the training videos on the TintWiz training series if you're just interested on the capabilities and functionalities in general, or you just need more information on how to use them. And we'll see you on the next one.